Okay, for this problem, we're asked to integrate the expression 2x times the square root of x squared plus 5 dx. And when we're thinking about what technique might be a good technique to approach this one, you know, integration by parts or u substitution or one of your basic integration rules, uh, one of the things that, that catches my eye right off the bat is this composition that's, that's going on here. I have a square root expression as an outer layer and an x squared plus 5 is an inner layer and that that's really the key to me that, that hints that this problem is u substitution so that's the technique we're going to use so let's let's see how that works on this one um, typically when we have a u substitution problem we will let the u be the inside of the two composed pieces so in this case I'm looking at this x squared plus 5 and this problem will will likely work out best if the u is chosen to be x squared plus 5. All right, now I'm going to take this substitution and rewrite this integral here. Uh, before I do that, uh, the original integrand has x's, and the variable of integration is, is x, so we have a dx. So if uh, I'm going to write my new integral in terms of u, then I also need a du. So I'll go ahead and find that before I sub everything out. Uh, if u is x squared plus 5, du is the derivative of x squared plus 5 which would be 2x dx so I can substitute these out here alright so let's give that a try see how that turns out uh, this would give us the integral of this will be the square root of u alright square root of u and you notice the 2 the x and the dx the 2 the x and the dx they turn out to be the same thing as as du now, if you're looking at that and saying, well, well Devin, you, you got pretty lucky there. That's, <laughs> that seems to be exactly what you needed. Well, that, that's certainly true. That, that's why this example is, um, I, I would classify this one as an easy example. Um, what, what you're more likely going to have to do in, in other problems is you might only have an x dx, and we might have to fix the 2 or, or something like that. Um, so we're not going to cover that in this video, but if you watch one of the, the next videos, we'll certainly do plenty of examples like that. So anyway, um, this one fits out well. 2x dx is the same thing as du. So that, that looks much more manageable to integrate. All right, so the integral of the square root of u, if you're not familiar with that, what we typically do with radicals is change those radicals to rational exponents. So we'll say to the one-half power, because that's the same thing as the square root. And then it's the power rule. So to use the power rule, we'll add 1 to this exponent right here. We'll increase it by 1 since we're integrating. This will be u to the 3 halves power. Now you could say divided by 3 halves. That's certainly okay. That's, that's what the power rule would say. But just this whole issue of dividing by another fraction is usually not, not the, the cleanest way to do it. So what you can also do instead is multiply by the reciprocal of the denominator and that's that's the same thing so we'll multiply by two-thirds instead plus c of course because it's an indefinite integral all right so this is more or less your answer um, now the reason I say more or less and not exactly your answer is that this uh, answer here is still written in terms of u but that's not how the original problem was was given the original integral if you look back up here was written in terms of x so the last easy, simple little step we have to do is look right here, and we see what u is in terms of x. So we can swap this back out once we're done. So the final answer would be 2 thirds x squared plus 5 raised to the 3 halves plus c. So we see the, the general concept of what we're doing here. We have these um, more complicated integrals when we use u substitution, oftentimes with composition and layers and layers of functions. And by using a u substitution, we can transform it into an easier integral in terms of u. We work the integral out in terms of u, and then once we, once we get our answer, we'll take that answer back in terms of x. All right, so um, so hopefully that helps you understand you substitution a little bit better. If you're feeling pretty good about these, you might now feel more comfortable moving on to some of the more difficult examples.